Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python's World. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Today my friends is the second part of this house build. We're going to be doing the interior and exterior. Last episode we got the actual build itself done and yeah, we also got ourselves our first 1.14 villagers which is fantastic. So Instead of getting them to go in Flora Valley, I figured what we could maybe do is actually try to incorporate them into this build and actually try to learn some of the new 1.14 villager uh, profession slash working mechanics. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to have ourselves like a little crop farm out here for the farmer, complete with the composter so he can actually work and therefore replenish his uh, trading supplies. The other one, I'm pretty sure there is a way of uh, changing the villager's profession because once we cured him i think it was a cleric right and i'm pretty sure there's a way of changing profession so if i could change profession it would be to a librarian now apparently librarians use lecterns to work so of course we're gonna have ourselves an enchanting room complete with a lectern so that's gonna be pretty cool got a composter in here basically everything in here is gonna be uh, winding up being used on this house so yeah but anyways guys if you're excited for today's episode getting this thing finally done then you know what to do the like button is there for a reason but guys let's go through room by room and let's see if we can't get some cool things going Alrighty guys, so the first room is going to be a room for the farmer because the farmer of course like I say is going to be uh, working in this area here of course we're going to try and seclude it so no zombies at all can get in so I'm thinking maybe we seclude it here make a little fence here and then make a little fence here and then of course secure this particular area of the fence as well so anyways let's go inside and this is going to be the room for the farmer so of course we need to bear in mind that beds are an essential part of the uh, villagers well-being now so that's pretty cool and of course uh, we've got some other very Various bits of bobs that will wind up being used in this area as well so uh, let us go ahead and put down a smoker we'll put down like a double chest here and then maybe we could put down like just something like this so you know it's a, it's a little work area for the villagers you know what I'm saying so yeah got ourselves a crafting table here we could probably uh, chuck that in as well I'll tell you what we'll put it there because why not and yeah I mean even just that would do the job quite nicely but uh, obviously I want to go a little bit further so I'm thinking we could probably get some various other things in here maybe like a nice little workstation some upside down stairs or something like that just to just to set it apart you know what I'm saying so maybe let's grab some cobblestone stairs let's go inside and uh, let's do this thing so maybe put that in rather like that and then we could maybe put some stuffs on top of here maybe we could put a chest Okay, maybe we put ourselves another item frame. This one could maybe have potatoes or something like that. Uh, so yeah, basically, guys, there's just there's just loads of things that you could be doing. There really, really is. Like, like there's no limits to interior design. There really isn't. I mean, well, obviously resources, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm on about. So yeah, maybe we put an apple in that other one. And I don't know. I feel like there should be something else. Oh yeah, a flower pot. We can't not have flower pots, man. I mean, I am the Pythonator. We can't not have flower pots, man. That's just that's just stupid. That really is. So let's do that. Flower pot. Dark oak sapling, bada bing, bada boom. We could even leave it at that, but no, but no, we're gonna go a little bit further. Maybe we could put down. Uh, oh gosh. Okay, well I wasn't expecting that. Holy gosh. All right. Well, uh, huh. Maybe I need some actual blocks, huh? So I can, uh, you know, restrict the painting size. Uh huh. All right. So let's go back in here real quick. Uh, do a little bit of that. Do a little bit of that, and then boof. Hey, it's the wither painting. I love the wither painting. I think it's fantastic. There we go. So, yeah. I mean, that's looking pretty decent, isn't it? Yeah? Nice little room for our farmer villager. I think it's kind of awesome. I think it would also be nice. In fact, I've got an idea. I don't know if you guys know this trick, but uh, you can make yourself a little lamp post or a little lamp using an end rod and a flower pot. Check this out, guys. Check this out. A little bit of interior design. A little bit of interior 101 for you guys. Boop. Oh, well, that's not correct. Boom. There you go. Huh? Does that not look like a little lamp? And best of all, it also provides light for this room. So even if I got rid of this... Yeah, look at this. The light levels are still way above seven, so no hostile mobs will spawn in here. You see? Fantastic stuff, right? 
Brilliant. I mean, I think it goes without saying, we'll leave the villager moving until last, because, you know, I want this place to be nice, secure, to the point where they can't get out and get killed by zombies. So, yeah. Cool. All right, so the next room here is going to be our enchanting room. So we need to go grab the lectern and the enchanting setup and figure out a layout for it. All right, guys, think it goes without saying we're going to use the old lighting under the enchant table trick. Wait, what? Does that not work anymore? Light level 13, light level 11. Oh, that's interesting. So it's actually got, oh, that we've got a seven over here. Hmm. We may need to do something about that. Anyways, we need to make sure we have 15 bookshelves, of course. So, uh, you know, uh, we have ourselves the full level 30 standard end chart. You know what I'm saying? So maybe we get rid of that. We place down... Uh, let's say we place down the thing, let's say, here. Like a little lamppost again. Again, just to uh, provide a little bit of light for the area. We should probably grab out the flower pots and get that thing going. So, boop, a little bit of that. And so far, we have ourselves, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15. I mean, that's the full 15, but it doesn't look very good to me. I don't really like that. Ah, you see, the thing is, I could be very, very smart here. I could, technically speaking, maybe get rid of one of these and instead place them here. That would actually still work, believe it or not. I'm pretty sure that'd still work anyway. So I'll tell you what. What if we do a little thing like this? Maybe we could put some storage chests here. We place them in there like that. And we could place another one there. And we could put the lectern in here. Yeah! Mate, I like that. I think that's pretty banging. I think that's awesome. All right, so another little lamppost. Because why not? Yeah! Guys, we're making some serious progress here. I feel like it will be only right that we put some sort of ender chest in here as well. You know? Let's put an anvil in here as well, because that's just the sort of thing you do in here. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. And then maybe also, just because it's me, I mean, we gotta, we just got to do it. You, you know? We've just got to do it. <laughs> We've got to put some flower pots in here. All right. So, a uh, couple saplings. A couple saplings. And then we should have ourselves the enchant area pretty much done. If we really wanted to, we could do that. But that just looks a little bit silly, doesn't it? So, yeah. Boom. And boom. And oak sapling. Boop. There we go. You see? A little bit of... Uh, yeah. I think that's looking pretty cool. And maybe just to finish it off, I feel like we could get away with putting another little bit of painting down there. Yeah. Okay. So, let's get rid of the torch on the floor. Let's check out the light levels. Uh, yep, they're looking pretty cool. Okay. Oh, no. I just came to the realization. We need to put a bed in here, right? If this is going to be the work area for the librarian villager, we need to put a bed in here. Ooh. Okay. I didn't really think of that. Okay, so maybe we put it in the corner here. Okay. I mean, I mean, it still works, right? Still works pretty well. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Fan-freaking-tastic. Yeah. That works really, really well. And then, of course, we could even put down another painting if we so wish. Yeah, 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 because that's really nice. You want to be seeing spiders above your bed. Yeah, that's lovely. That's really lovely. Right, I feel like I should go to sleep as well because I feel like the zombies are just going to annoy the villagers. So, you know, probably not a good idea to have that be the case. Right, are you to... Oh, gosh. Hello. Hey! Oh, okay. Okay. Hello. Hi, how are you all doing? Please go away. Ow, you jerk. You're not supposed to... S uh, don't set me on fire, you little butthead. Hello. Oh, God, there's babies. Yeah, not today, sir. Not today. There you go. Get destroyed there, buddy. Right. Oh, for goodness sake. I thought you were dead. Get out of here. There we go. Fantastic. Right, you, you two still alive? I hope you are. Yep, this guy's still alive. This guy's still alive. Brilliant. Okay, brilliant stuff. Whew, that was close. Alrighty, guys. So this little back room here is the next thing to be done. And I kind of figured what we could maybe do here is just have like a tiny little living room. You know, we've got ourselves a little uh, bookshelf here. Bookshelves are remarkably good for adding color 
to a room because of all of the colors it has. You know, you've got reds and greens and blues and all sorts of stuff going on there. Like, honestly, it's, it's one of the greats when it comes to, uh, you know, adding a little bit to your interiors. So, yeah, anyway, so we're going to go out here real quick. We're going to grab ourselves the carpets. We can maybe put up a map wall or something like that. Uh, we've got cauldrons, another bed. Obviously, this one's going to go in the upstairs bedroom since it just kind of makes sense to do so. Uh, so, yeah. All right, so let's make a little bit of a start after we grab ourselves a piece of stair. Oh, yeah, there we go. Stairs. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Brilliant. All right, so let's go in here. Uh, this room is now done, which is fantastic. We've got this little area here. Uh, we could maybe put down a little bit of a carpet here because, you know, that's just the sort of thing. This could be like the TV, if you will. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you need only look at what's going on here just to know what's going on. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. But you get what I'm saying. Uh, should we put something in here? I feel like a flower pot wouldn't go amiss, so we'll do a little bit of that. I like how flower pots, even now, are still one of my absolute staples when it comes to interior design. <laughs> oh, they're so good, though. You can't not. You can't not put them in. Uh, like, what do I want to put in there? Oh, that's right. I wanted to put a map in here. Let's have a look at it. Yeah. Boop. Oh, dude, that is that is really cool. I like that. So you've got the mansion there. You've got the tower there. You've got Flora Valley down there. You've got a new house. Traveling market area. Oh, dude. That is so cool. We are proper populating these maps and areas now, aren't we? This is amazing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like spending way too much time just gushing over how amazing map walls are. Because they just are. Let's just be frank here, guys. But still. They're kind of awesome. Anyways, uh, one more flower pot, because why not? One more for the road. There we go. Okay. Yeah. I'm kind of happy with this. I'm kind of happy with this. Maybe we could put that in rather like that. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Hmm. I don't know, you know. I don't know. I almost feel like what, it's, what it should actually be like is like this. Yeah, you got like a nice little rug going on here. One, two, three. Maybe do a little bit of that as well. Uh, I don't know. Maybe just in front of the sofa. Just, I don't know. It just kind of makes sense to me. And then we got ourselves like a little area here. And again, we could just chuck in some various resource blocks, I guess. Because why not? You got to love it, man. You got to love it. Alrighty, guys. We've got ourselves a nice looking house so far. So we've got ourselves the farmer room in here. Uh, obviously, this is going to be ridded because it's my valuables box. Got an enchant slash library room in here. Got a living room in here. And, of course, we head upstairs. And this, my friends, is going to be the bedroom. Oh, yes. The place where the Pythonator himself resides. It's going to be a fantastic time. So, uh, maybe what we could do here... Is have like a bit of a collage of paintings. What do you guys think? So maybe uh, what we do is have like a two by two there, and then another two by two over there, and maybe a one by two right here. Yeah, you see that works pretty good, doesn't it? That works pretty well. Okay. Uh, so what I normally do when it comes to beds is I tend to go ahead and put like a little bit of a sideboard to it. So if I was to grab out uh, some of these here slabs. In fact, do we want to use dark oak or do we want to use cobblestone? I don't know. I can't figure out which one would look better. Maybe we have a little bit of a look, you know, experiment a little. You know what I'm saying? So let's have a peer real quick. Let's see which one works better. So we've got that going on. I mean, it certainly blends in with the environment a bit better. But I don't know. I almost feel like there's too much brown. But then again, who has cobblestone as a bit of a sideboard for their bed? Yeah, wood works better in my opinion. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, and then maybe either side we could have some uh, utility-style block things. Aha, uh -huh. okay, yeah, that's looking pretty decent. Except what I now want to do is have like a two-by-one either side. Because then I could put down some flower pots on either side, you know? Yeah, yeah, you see where I'm going with this? Huh? <laughs> oh, you'd love to see it. Look at it. That's looking pretty cool, isn't it? And then if I really wanted to, could I do this? Hang on, boop, do that, and then another one. Oh, I can. Oh, cool. That's really, really, I like that. That's a really cozy looking bedroom area. Okay, and then we got all of this remaining area to do whatever we will with. Uh, so maybe we place down one of them. We could have maybe just a couple chests on top of each other, because why not? A little bit of storage never goes amiss, right? In fact, if we really wanted to... We could probably make that one block taller as well. So, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. There we go. You'll love to see it. Okay, cool. Right. 
Now then, let's figure out what we want to do with the rest of the area, huh? Alrighty, guys. So I've just kind of decided to make this into a sort of multi-utility type area type thing. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of various things here. Cauldrons, armor stands, brewing stands, uh, all of which... <coughs> excuse me. All of which I haven't really used that much. Apparently, I still have a little bit of a cold here and there, especially when it comes to morning recordings. Like, you can proper tell that my voice is, like, still a little bit not quite there yet. But for the most part, it is. For the most part, it is there. Just sometimes, you know, I still got the old blockage here and there. So, yeah, a little bit of a clear throat and then I'm good to go. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, anyways, uh, let's carry on, though. I wanted to swap that, put that in there instead and then get an oak one. Put it in there, and yeah, that's looking kind of decent. Yeah, okay, and then maybe we could just like put in some various other things here. Uh, we could maybe put in another armor stand here, because, you know, armor stands, they always look pretty cool once you've got something on them, right? So, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. However, I'm kind of tempted to actually uh, swap those around, because this is technically a full block, I guess. So you can go in there, and then you could go in there. Yeah, and then once those things have got stuff on them, I think that's going to look really, really cool. Got a micro storage area, another little storage area, the actual bedroom area. And you know what? All in all, I think this is looking amazing. So, ladies and gentlemen, the interior is complete. I am happy to say that. I really, really am. So, let's go ahead and do the farmland outside next. And then after that, we can get the villagers going. Alrighty guys, so the next thing I'm working on is house security, you know, making sure that no hostile mobs, specifically zombies, can get in this place. Now, of course, at the moment, all I'm doing is uh, placing in leaves because I feel like that'll be about as far as I can go with this, I guess, maybe? I don't really know. I mean, all I'm doing is just trying to make sure that uh, no mobs can get in because if they do, then it's all over. It's all over. We don't want it to be all over, do we, guys? No, we do not. <laughs> so, there we go. So, can we ourselves... Okay, yeah, uh, they could probably get over that. Uh-huh. So, basically, we need to make sure... Okay, so zombies can't jump that, so that's totally fine. Uh, pretty sure they won't be able to jump that either. So, again, I'm pretty sure that's fine. Uh, okay. And, again, if we make sure that we ourselves can't get in here, then I think we're going to be all right. So, yep, yeah, that's okay. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, that's looking pretty decent so far. So I guess the question is, can the villagers get out? Because if they could get out, then again, uh, they run the risk of getting absolutely destroyed. So let's not, huh? Let's not. So let's do a little bit of that. And yeah, yeah, this is looking pretty decent. I think we've got ourselves a pretty healthy uh, amount of area here. So that's obviously really, really cool. So... Uh, I think it goes without saying. All we need to do now is just till the ground, get it all moisturized, get some crops down, get the composter down as well, and then the farmer can farm to his heart's content. Oh, yes. Alrighty, guys, and how can we forget? We have lanterns at our disposal, so I decided to go ahead and just add in a couple either side here, and again, the light levels are well above seven, so we are perfectly fine to carry on. So we got ourselves a water source down there. Uh, can we get away with just one water source down here as well perhaps one two three four yeah i should be able to so if i do this this then get rid of that one then i should be able to start uh tilling all of the ground and hopefully it all becomes moisturized because if it is then you know everything will be fine oh i didn't realize you could do that <laughs> you could uh you could till f uh path blocks Interesting. Okay, uh, I didn't mean to do that either. Boop, there we go. Fantastic. Right, so uh, let's get the rest of this done. And then we can get the carrots planted. And then away we go, I guess. Oh, yeah, look at this. Ah, oh, dang it, man. Okay, so I'm going to need some more water sources to uh, chuck, like, underneath the leaves, I guess. Yeah, because, yeah, as you can see. Uh, that's kind of annoying, actually. The water moisturization doesn't go, like, across multiple elevation levels, I guess. Alrighty, guys, and what better way of looking at our finished product by having everything be fully grown? Let's have a look at it now. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right. Looking pretty good, huh? Yeah. Okay. So that should be enough to satisfy the farmer villager. I'm hoping it will be anyway. So, I mean, all we could do is give it a go. So we've got all of the various things here. Uh, we've got the redstone torches. Uh, keep the chicken out for food. 
Uh, but everything else we could pretty much just put in here. And I'll tell you what, let's just uh, grab out some blocks here. And we just need to make ourselves a little rudimentary rail system. Uh, we're going to go for the farmer first, which of course is uh, this guy here. So yeah, should be pretty simple. Oh gosh, hello. Yep, there's still a... Oh, I, th I thought it was about to blow. That would have been really bad. Hello there, sir. Please die. There you go. Goodbye. Okay, cool. Right, let's get this thing going, huh? Let's get the, let's get the farmer in. Alrighty, guys. Let's see if we can get this thing rolling. So, are you in there? Yes, he is. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Right, we just need to get around the other side and try to push him out. Right, we should be able to get away with getting rid of that. And away you go there, sir. All right, up you go. Up you go, up you go. Okay. Yeah. He's in! Guys, he's in! He's in, he's in, he's in. Okay, right, 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 right. Uh, F3 and B, so we don't accidentally hit the villager. Boop! Oh, crap. Sorry! Sorry! I didn't mean to do that, brother. I think it goes without saying. Wait, where did the carrots go? Did he just nab the carrots? You little jerk! How could you do that to me, man? I just... I made you! I cured you, man! And it just decides to steal my carrots. Okay, well, that's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Right, so, hopefully, what should happen is he should wind up, like, starting to do, uh, farmery stuff. Uh, well, at least I hope he will, anyway. <laughs> cool. Go on, Mr. Cleric. You can get in there as well. Uh, whether or not he will change his profession is another matter. I don't actually know how you get him to, like, rid his profession and then change it. So, yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, yeah, we've got it done. We've basically got it done. We can now get rid of all of this, put the uh, lantern back in, of course. And then we're pretty much good, right? These guys are nice and secure. And everything's looking cool. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, dude, I'm super happy about that. <laughs> nice one. All right, guys. So, yeah, both of these guys are now in. We've gotten rid of all of the rails. And at this point, I'm just sort of observing what they do. Because, of course, these are 1.14 villagers. I don't really know what sort of things they do. I know they sometimes do this thing called gossiping. Which is where they decide whether or not whether they want to spawn an iron golem or something like that. Uh, but at this point, obviously not. Because, you know, there's only two of them. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know, man. I think it's just interesting just observing behavior of newly revamped things. So, yeah. I'm not entirely sure what the cleric is doing. Like I say, I would really like to be able to change his profession from a cleric to a librarian. So, I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know how to do that in the comments area below. But for now, my friends, we're going to leave it here. I'm actually going to sort of quietly do the exterior here off camera. It's going to be... In fact, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to do it now. Why not? I mean, it's literally just going to be trees and then leaves. And then we're good to go, basically. So, yeah, I'm just going to go get that done real quick, and then we'll be good to go. Alrighty, guys. Exterior has been decorated. And, guys, we are just about done with this project here today. Oh, yeah. So, we've got dark oak trees, oak trees, and then just a whole bunch of bone meal on the ground. And then, of course, uh, leaves around the exterior as well. So... Yeah, I mean, obviously, once we get rid of the chest, then I think this is going to look absolutely fantastic. You know, I feel like this house really fits in with the surrounding area. And i got to say, I am absolutely in love with it. One thing I'm not in love with, though, is these villagers so far. But that's probably because I don't really know what to do in terms of, like, how to get their professions to actually work. So it's nighttime right now. You'd expect them to be sleeping, right? Uh, no, apparently not. Very, very strange things. So, what if I put that in there? Will you start doing farmery stuff? I mean, I don't know. They've got a bed. They've got doors. They've got the workstations. I'm unsure as to, like, what exactly it is I'm supposed to be doing. So, maybe you guys can let me know what to do in the comments area below. Like, oh. But actually, guys, now is the time to end off the episode. So, the common question of the video comes from Joplin, who says, You should make the small area by the pond into a nature park so uh, i'm pretty sure they're talking about this area back here in the last episode i think i was on about making a little fishing shack and yeah we could probably just make it into a little nature park i think that would be absolutely fantastic i mean to be honest we already have a fishing shack do we really need a second one i don't know man but anyways guys gonna wrap it up for today thank you very much for watching if you guys have enjoyed today's episode then please do be sure to let me know with a like rating it would honestly be the one to me if you did 
hit the subscribe button, ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But that, my friends, is going to wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.